ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين this book allah says and definitely there is no doubt in it there is guidance for those who have taqwa who are conscious of their maker you want guidance from the quran you need to be a person who's conscious of your maker you are not conscious of your maker you will not be able to be productive with your link with the quran nor will you be able to benefit and a person who does not want to benefit from the quran there is something wrong with their level of taqwa and the consciousness of allah so if for example we take a look at the quran we read it and it, we recite it so much it does not affect us there is something wrong with our belief in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's the word of allah today people can cheaply very cheaply become so heavily affected by a small word which is uttered by a person of the opposite sex whom they are in love with who doesn't even know them for example sometimes and they go crazy look at how people go crazy with the pop stars and so on across the globe whereas when it comes to the word of allah we are not even one tenth as crazy not one tenth as crazy it doesn't affect us when Allah says, you want success, you need to believe and do good deeds. That's how you will achieve success. And we think otherwise. We think no, man. But when someone else, one of the people of the globe, who has seen a little bit of glamour and glitter, when we look at them and we see the type of life they are living, we, they become our icons and our role models. That is one of the most destructive things because their lives in most cases are full of depression and full of lack of that happiness and contentment. You know, I've had the opportunity to meet with a few film stars. And if you look at them in real life, they will confess to you that my life is a mess, a mess. And yet people want to dress like them. They want to be like them. So what will happen as a result of all that? Your life also becomes a mess. Allahu Akbar. Why? Because you are following someone whose example has led to their real life being a mess. What they do on the screen is something else. What happens in real life, they are not productive. They have perhaps produced, but because they don't have the deen, that production is not, as I said, focused upon the contentment of the dunya and the akhirah. So therefore, they cannot be the perfect example. But Allah says, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا Indeed, we have a shining example to emulate in that of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the person of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a beautiful example, the way he did business, the way he treated his spouse, his family members, the people, the Muslims, the non-Muslims, how forgiving he was, how kind he was, his beautiful words, how he spoke, how he walked, how he talked. Every single thing is at the peak of excellence. If only we are productive enough to go through the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How many of us, and another question and I'd like to see by a show of hands inshallah. How many of us have read a detailed biography of the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from cover to cover? Yes, put up your hand. We can do better by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can do better. My brothers and sisters, to say we can do better is an acknowledgement of what we've done, but an encouragement to say, let us produce, let us have better results by the will of Allah. Why do we just say Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa But what about his life? I don't know. What about his example? I don't know. You are the one who's screaming at home to your spouse. You are never there for your children. How can you say, I believe in Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa only by tongue, but his example means nothing to you. Yet he was the most productive, so productive he was that without internet, without even a microphone, the whole world changed. Subhanallah. That's how productive he was. By the will of Allah, obviously, the help is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was a Nabi, the best of creation, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But the point being raised is of utmost importance that that shining example, we have not yet seen it yet. The most successful human being to exist was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam without a doubt. You know, people say, oh, this guy's got 1.5 million followers on Facebook. Oh, that guy's got 10 million followers. Big deal. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has got two and a half billion likes. How's that? Did he have internet? No. Allahu Akbar. Did he have a loud hailer? No. So what happened? That was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him success. But our problem is we have not yet read through the pages of how that success was achieved. That's the problem. And it's not enough to just read through the pages, but 
my genuineness with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam should make me so productive that I become an asset to everyone around me. I touch them with something. Just the mere fact that I've been in their presence for a few minutes, I need to touch them. How many of you, when you are with someone and you pass them or you see them once in your life and the way your interaction has been, you've left a mark. Well, if we were proper Muslims, perhaps we would have left that mark. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us.